Director of Public Works Roach, Director Zonico, Deputy Directors Francis Musas, Legal Counsel, Colleagues, good afternoon. You don't like this jacket over it. Not Joseph, not Frank Adam. If you see all the sharks on here, you know I'm a lawyer, right? Let me wish all of you a happy new year. And let me begin by thanking you for inviting me to open the Distinguished Lecture Series this year. I consider it an honor because this series in its first year has grown beyond expectations. And especially because it is the product of the innovative minds of the employees of this ministry. The series has become a very special event in this ministry. And my staff know not to schedule any events for me on Thursday afternoons because I want to have the opportunity to attend. Likewise, I hope and anticipate that all of our staff, and, and it's so good to look down and see so many of you here. You don't know how good this looks, and I hope that, that these cameras get a pan of, of all of you. But I hope and anticipate that all of our staff would want to continue to enrich their professional experience by attending and participating each week. So now that we got to rent a hotel. Speaking for myself, I've learned so very much, and I wish to publicly thank and to commend the organizing committee for your time and your many sacrifices in organizing this event each week. Because of you, we are envied by the other ministries, but more importantly, it shows that we can get together each week to share and to learn from each other. And that is so important. I know that Permanent Secretary Thompson Director Roach have both been actively encouraging me. And that accounts has been supportive. I see the FO here. So I want to use this opportunity to commend them and to recommend to them that you continue to be provided with all available resources so that the Distinguished Lecture Series will continue to grow and enrich our experiences at the Ministry of Public Works so, these folks, you can tell P.S. what I said, therefore, heard it for yourself. I'm going to speak to you on a number of topics, and the first one I want to touch on is inclusiveness. I want to also commend the organizers for hosting the year opening lecture, this lecture, on the Northern Compound. I want to commend you. This is one ministry. Too long, for too long, we have been separated, not by distance, since the administration building is a short walk from this compound. We have permitted ourselves to be separated by a state of mind. The ministry needs to become more inclusive this year, and we all need to try to ensure that all of us feel that we are part of one ministry. Our social committee seems to have been disbanded but there are things that we can do to have more activities that all members of our staff can participate in. Human resources is about maximizing the potential of all of our staff. And I anticipate that we will organize inclusive social and learning events so that all of us who would wish to participate can be involved in. I therefore look forward to the formation of a social committee that incorporates persons from all sections of this ministry that will organize events and pull us together. We've also separated ourselves, colleagues, from our family island offices. I'm happy to see Ms. Bannisters here. Too often they don't have the resources that they need, and they feel too often that it takes us too long to respond. This too has to change this year, and this too will change this year. Innovation and initiative. When I started out as assistant counsel in the office of the Attorney General 30 years ago, I had a wonderful mentor, 
by the name of Burton Hall, who is now former Chief Justice. And he currently is currently a distinguished judge on the United Nations International Criminal Tribunals that continues the works of the courts, that conducted the trials on the Yugoslav Wars and the genocide in Rwanda. Back then, he was the Solicitor General of the Bahamas. And he kept a little green fireman on his desk all the time. And everyone who came into his office asked him why that fireman was so prominently placed on his desk. And his answer always was that as Solicitor General, his job was to put out fires in our legal system. I'm telling you this story today because while I want you to know that while I'm extremely honored to serve as your minister, I want all of you to note that this ministry has been categorized for too long as the fireman of the Bahamas when it comes to infrastructural improvement in our country. In 2019, we must look beyond being infrastructural firemen. And I'm going to explain what I mean by that. You will all appreciate from listening to at least one of the distinguished lecturers last year, that even highly placed and experienced public servants do not know the true function and utility of this ministry. We have to show them what we do and what we can do to improve this country. And we have the talent in this ministry to do it.